The Adventures of Sunshine Grandma in Venice. Once upon a time, Sunshine Grandma went to Venice in Italy. What do you think was the first thing that Sunshine Grandma did when Grandma visited Venice? Sunshine Grandma put on her hat and said buongiorno, which means good day in Italy. Sunshine Grandma went to find her bed so that Grandma could have a rest. Grandma thought, I would like to see if I could see a fairy here and count all the bridges. Grandma had got off the plane and got into a boat to go to Venice. Then Grandma arrived at St Mark's Square and there was lots and lots of gondolas. A gondola is a long skinny boat with a man standing at the end with a big pole and a striped shirt. Some of them even have a red beret on their head. Sunshine Grandma travelled to her bed in a very special way in Venice. Do you know how? One of the gondola people offered to take Grandma to her hotel in his gondola. Sunshine Grandma said, Oh my goodness, oh my soul! There is so much water here. There's water, water everywhere. And yes, I would very much like to travel to a hotel in a gondola. Sunshine Grandma showed me photographs of her in the gondola. Grandma looked very happy in, in the gondola. And the man even sang her a song while they traveled up and down the waterways of Venice. What was the next thing that Grandma did? Grandma had folded pizza. What do you think was the next thing that Grandma did? Sunshine Grandma found the ferry and then visited an ice cream shop on the other side of the canal. Grandma said, oh my goodness, oh my soul, it is very tasty and everyone here is very friendly. Sunshine Grandma took lots of photographs of the water and of the bridges and even walking over a bridge which had shops in it. Grandma did not go swimming in the canals but was riding in ferries to go everywhere. Hmm. When Sunshine Grandma was in Venice she wore a fluffy beret because it was very cold but there was lots of sunshine and Grandma smiled a lot especially when she saw the pretty masks for sale. Sunshine Grandma loves me very much and I know this because she's always telling me. Maybe she thinks I'll forget. Grandma always says that grandparents love their children and their grandchildren more than their next breath. And Grandma says that all children and grandchildren are gifted and talented and that we are very, very precious.